think Aquinas gives the best answer to this. Um, is all ending of human life evil? No, because of this. You, you can know that it's not evil because of this. But then how do we explain that, right? When, when is it evil? Um, God is the author of life, as Aquinas notes. God is the author of life. So God is able to determine when to end that life. As the author of life, he can determine when to end it. So it's not morally wrong for God to end a life. If you accept that it's not morally wrong for God to end a life, now the assertion is that, well, God is the one who, as the author of life, told the Israelites when to end it. So he has that authority to tell when he, uh, when his servants should end another person's life. He has that authority because he is the author of that life. He uses the same argumentation to justify um, the plundering of Egypt by the Israelites. Um, since all property is God's property, if God, I'll, if God commands you to take the property of another, it's God's property to begin with, and therefore it's morally illicit, if God commands it. Um, if we do it in on, our, on our own initiative, it's illicit, it's immoral. In the same way that if we end a person's life on our own initiative, it's immoral because we are not the author of life. So we don't have the authority to determine when it is when it will end. It all hinges on whether or not God is the author of life, <laughs> whether or not there's a God, and then whether or not uh, God as the author of life can determine when to end it. Well, if you've already conceded that God is the author of life, I don't think that it's I don't see how you could argue that he can't then determine when to end it. And then if God instructs a person when to end it, I don't see how you would say that's morally illicit. 